Yeah, good day everyone, you welcome back to our class, um, Chem Easy International, where we do justice uh, to demystifying uh, different difficult areas in chemistry. Um, from our last class, where we are looking at identification of anions, last week we were able to do justice to a list of objectives. Of course, uh, we were able to tell you the different classes of anions. Of course, we told you that anions are also called acid radicals. So today we want to eat the ground running. If there's anything you are not still clear about, you can please ask from the comment section. So today we are going to look at identification of anions and we have certain objective to meet today. What is the objective? So the objective is simply to discuss how do we identify anions from hitting the salt, the unknown substance that contains the anion. When we hit it, there will be an evolution, effervescence of a certain gas. How do we use the gas that evolved, all right, to dictate or describe the anion present? So that is the objective for today's class. All right. So, of course, you know that anions, we have different types of anions. We have uh, trioxocarbonate 4, hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4, and so on and so forth. Not to waste our time on this. So, that them um, absolutely to describe anions, of course, there are two methods. The first one, we call it the dry tests. And the second one, we call it the wet tests. So today we want to look at dry tests. Of course, dry test simply means heating the salt, heating the unknown substance. So much so that there will be a fervescence of a gas. From the gas that evolve, we can then describe the anion present. All right? Of course, you know that gases, of course, most times we cannot see them. All right? But with some characteristics, physical characteristics of some gases or chemical properties of some gases, you can know what type of gas is evolving. For instance, the gas you and I breathe out, carbon 4 oxide, the gas we breathe out, we cannot see it. Do you understand? So it is colorless. It is even odorless. It doesn't have any odor. But then, when, it is, if, when we are eating a certain substance, and there is evolution of a gas that is colorless. The gas is also odorless. But you are trying to pass through delivery tube, you pass the gas into uh, uh, lime water. When you are able to pass the gas into lime water, and the gas changes the lime water milky, it turns the lime water milky. A colorless lime water turns milky. Definitely, the gas evolving is carbon-4 oxide. And of course, there are a list of uh, tests also, for instance, litmus tests, to know the kind of gas that is evolving. So first and foremost, I'm going to list out some common gases and the type of anions we can identify from the evolution of the gases. Thereafter, I tell you how to identify this gas. Remember, we are tailoring this discussion towards your exam, whereby you are going to be told to test, you are going to be given a list of tests to identify the anion or cation present in an unknown salt. So, number one, if the gas is carbon four oxide, absolutely, there are two different uh, anions that this, the evolution of this gas is indicating hydrogen trioxo carbonate 4, then trioxo carbonate 4 ion. If this gas is evolving, then either of this or this is present. All right? Then we have uh, hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide, then sulfide 2 ion is present. If this gas is evolving, then this guy is the anion that is present. Then we have NO2, nitrogen four oxide. When this gas is evolving, then we have NO3, 
minus NO3 minus as the anion. Then we have SO2, so for four oxide. When this gas is evolving, of course, when this gas is evolving, then you have uh, either of SO3, 2 minus, S2, O3, 2 minus, or SO4, 2 minus. All right? There are eight of these guys. There are eight of these guys. I've just listed four. And then we have uh, uh, chloride ion or chlorine gas. Are we, on, are we on the same page? Greenish yellow gas. We have chlorine gas. When this gas is evolving, chloride ion is present. We have uh, bromine gas. When this gas is evolving, the bromide ion is present. Then we have iodine gas. When this gas is evolving, iodide ion is present. Two, four, six, seven. Then we have hydrogen chloride gas. When this gas is evolving, chloride ion is also present. So, first and foremost, you should know that if any of these gases is evolving, these are the corresponding anions that are what that are present. If any of these gases is evolving, these are the corresponding anions that are present in the unknown substance. Lesson number one. Lesson number two. How do we know that we are, we, I'm, I'm hitting a certain salt and there's an effervescence of gas? Or I added, because dry test does not limit to, what, to heating of the unknown substance alone. It also uh, includes addition of what? Of uh, uh, dilute acid into the unknown salt. All right? Addition of dilute acid into the unknown salt. So the lesson number one is well taken. If any of these gases is evolving, then the corresponding 